So guys, I just want to give you guys a little heads up um, about this uh, golden mussel that they found in the San Joaquin water river system up in Stockton, the Port of Stockton. These uh, mussels, they come by boat from these boats that come from China and all these other countries around the world. And they come into the Port of Stockton and Port of Sacramento. And the way that they have to put the water ballasts in the big ships to keep them balanced right and what kind of laws they have as far as how they have to dump their ballasts before they come in, we don't know. So anyway, that mussel was found. They're microscopic. Um, when they spawn out, they actually... Uh, multiply really fast and their eggs and everything float to the surface and it's very easy to suck them into your pumps in a bass boat um, get into your water pump on your motor they get in anywhere where water goes in your boat those microscopic eggs could get in there and then when you go launch your boat at a lake it fertilizes the lake and then you're going to have a problem so basically that's what's going on right now that they found these mussels in stockton um, there's a lot of things been going around because, you know, their Berryessa is closed, no launching. Comanche's closed, no launching. Um, you have to have your boat um, decontaminized. So basically what happens is, like, if you went to Berryessa right now, they would go out there and they'd tell you that you can't launch your boat. So they would put this wire around your motor to your trailer. There's a red tag on it. probably has Berryessa and a date. And then they'll tell you, okay, you can't launch today, but come back in 30 days. So you have to wait 30 days with your boat not leaving that trailer so the mussels will die. Because there's an incubation period when they're not in the water for 30 days, they're going to die. So you have to wait 30 days to take your boat to go launch at Berryessa. That's a bunch of bull. So basically, the two lakes that are closed, um, Comanche and uh, Berryessa, they are in different water districts. So basically the water districts are going to have to get around and actually figure something out because say you went to Berryessa, you waited that time period, you go launch your boat. You come back in, you tell them, hey, can you tag my boat? So then they're going to put a wire around your motor and your trailer again, but it's going to be green tag. So that green tag, as long as it's on that boat and trailer, you could come back five days, next day, you can come back a week, a month later, whatever you want, you can come back as long as that green tag is on your boat. Now, if they do it at all the lakes, then that would be fine because then you could go to Comanche, uh, launch your boat when you're done, tell them to tag it again so you can go back to Berryessa. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure they're going to do that. You know, they got to get together. So then it makes it a lot easier. But if you go to Delta, you're not going to launch unless you get your boat um, decontaminated. So there's only one place that does it right now. Well, two of them. There's one in Lake Tahoe, and there's one at, at Berryessa at Steel Park. So if you, you want to get your boat done, you would go online to Solano, Solano County Water um, Agency and look in the bottom right-hand corner of the box. It says decontamination. You set up appointment. It costs you $100 to reserve the appointment. And then when you go there, I understand they give you your money back. They just make sure that you show up. To do a boat, a normal boat takes an hour. So if you have a kayak and you have an electric motor on it and CF number, you have to have that thing decontaminated before you can go on the lake. If you have a kayak with no motor on it, you don't need it. It doesn't make any sense. They should make any kind of watercraft. You have to do it because they could transmit, transport those muscles any with a motor or without a motor so i think things might change i don't know you know we're gonna we just have to wait and see um but i mean you're gonna figure that all these lakes are gonna and the water just gonna have to start following suit and actually have some kind of program so they work with each other so it makes it easier for an angler fishermen water skiers uh, jet skiers, any of those, all those things have to be decontaminated. Jet skis, uh, remember kayaks with electric motors, and any kind of boat has to be decontaminated before you could go on to Berryessa or Comanche right now.
The next one this week, we're supposed to find out whether New Malonis is going to do it, but it looks like um, they're going to do it also. And then the other lakes will probably follow suit because the, these mussels, they multiply really fast and they get about an inch and a half long and they cling to everything. They'll cling to all the posts, any structure, concrete, doesn't matter what it is, they cling to it. They multiply real fast and they start plugging things up. And so they're a problem. What they do is they're, you know, as you know, mussels are filter, filtering fish. So they filter the water. They're going to filter the plankton out of the river, out of the lakes. So the water will get gin clear like in the Midwest and back east. Those lakes are gin clear because they have a lot of these things in them. And they filter the water. So here, plankton feeds our pond smelt, feeds our threadfin shad. And those are your two things that are, are the food chain for all the fish in our lakes. And kokanee, they eat plankton. Well, if these mussels get too big and filter out all that plankton out of our lakes, those three things are going to be gone. There'll be no food. You're taking the food supply out of there. So that's how dangerous these things are. So they need to get this thing fixed. So anyhow, um, there's going to be um, Gone Fish and Marine. Looks like they're going to start doing this decontamination. You might want to call them and ask them. But like I said, Tahoe and then Steel Park, the only ones that do it right now. And I'm sure some other shops might start doing it pretty soon. But right now, as of it, that's it. So, you know, this thing's serious. So don't think it's a joke. It seems when I first heard about it, I thought it was kind of like, you got to be kidding me. This is a joke. But it's not. As I look more into it, it's a serious problem. So just hang in there and Google everything and learn as much as you can. And then make sure you call around and see who can decontaminate your boat so you can go out that same day or the next day or whatever and then make sure you tag it so that green tag is good so i'm sure in the next two three four weeks we'll know more about everything about this so just be careful guys and i'll see you guys later